Greetings, salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting, where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find. Today, I'm in LA, so I'm really excited. I've never brought you guys to the store before. One of my favorite stores when I used to go thrifting, like, when I first started going thrifting, and then I stopped going to LA because it was a little too hectic. But... I wanted to change it up and bring you guys to a new location. So we're going to go inside and see what we can find. If you guys want to see more thrifting videos, hit the light right there. The window will pop out. You can select my playlist for my other thrifting videos, hauls, and handbag rehabs. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadrian just spelled here. And if you want to see what I have for sale in my shop, check it out at www.depop.com backslash it's Hadrian. All the links are going to be down below as well. But without further ado, let's go into the store and see what we can find. Man, these bags are like a hot, 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 hot mess. See what this is. Oh, it's broken. So. Attention, Ooh, a fresh cart. Stop. Let's go check it out. Okay, you guys, I have to grab a cart really quick because I found so many things. There's also two things behind the case that I wanted to show you guys, but um, I did find this Le Sport Sack bag it's pretty cute i think it's authentic i don't remember i don't know it's a little iffy like it feels i don't know might just be like a makeup bag so but i did find this juicy couture yellow wallet and oh the it's like totally damaged around the corner it still has a tag on it too but i don't know if i'm gonna get this anymore but this guy is only 5.99 then this um brighton oh this one's definitely something i'm not gonna get either okay i'm not gonna get that but check out this tote bag banana republic it's really soft and really cute this one is 5.99 and then this elliot luca is only four dollars and 99 cents so Definitely gonna take this guy. He's in pretty good condition. He's a good tote. I'm looking at the plates and stuff. Not really a huge selection. And the cookware. Same. Not too much. Not even like very many mugs. Though I did score over the handbags. I'm really excited to show you guys the ones behind the case. But I think. Now, I'm gonna wait to show you guys at the house. You guys are gonna have to subscribe so you'll be updated when that um, haul video goes up so you guys can see what they are. But I'm really excited to show you guys, they're pretty good. Oh no, look at this sassy elephant. His teeth are broken. Okay, <laughs> precious moments. This monkey, more precious moments stuff. Is that Jessica Simpson? No, it's Kirstie Alley. She looks like Jessica Simpson there, though. I prefer mine al dente. How funny. Should I get this for mom? She loves Christy Alley. But... Look at this. He's cool. Oh! Look at those little birds on there. Ooh! These are nice. Pineapple bowls. $2.99 each. That's really cute. Oh, another pine. <gasps> Made in India. This is like really heavy. Like a million pounds, like a brass pineapple. This is really cute. I think I might get this for sure. I'm also thinking about these pineapples, but I don't think so. But the other pineapple is really, really cool. This is cute too. Do you see this giant thing of Marilyn Monroe? It's $15. Oh, that's awkward. This is like a school photo. Uh, Bourjon Bernoud. I don't know how to pronounce that. Pinot Noir. Mm, okay, nothing down there. Just found some men's ballet shoes. These can actually be cleaned up pretty well, but they're a size 12, so they're huge. So I was looking at their new racks of clothes that they brought out, and there's an Isabelle Morant pair of pants here. They are so cool and in really good condition, so sold. I'm going to check out what else they have here, and then I'm going to head out and probably go to another store. 
So wish me luck. Maybe I can find something else really cool. I'm finding some really good stuff. I just found this free people like I don't know if it's a dress or a top or something, but it's really pretty. And then I found this Bob Mackie like sheer top. It's so nice and it's just buttons down the back. Beautiful. And then a alternative shirt. Whoa! That's fun. I just found a vintage polo jean sweater. Alright you guys, I just left the store. Here's a quick peek of what I got. Alright you guys, I just got everything inside the car. I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm gonna start off with the home goods that I got. The first of which is this really cool, um, it's a brass pineapple and then it opens. It's really, really, like heavy. Like especially this top part, like it's intense. So it's really, really cool. I was really excited that it was there. It was $3.99. And I just think this is the gosh darn coolest thing. I've been collecting a lot of pineapple things lately. I love them. Pineapples make me so happy. Plus, they're delicious. And to have a brass one, I'm really excited because I've wanted a brass one for quite some time. Um, and now I finally have one. So this is going to look really beautiful decorating something, sitting atop of something. And I just need to clean it, and it's going to be good to go. So really happy about that. Now the next thing I have is this brass elephant. Well, I don't know if he's brass. I know he's metal. I'm 100% sure that this is from Target because I've seen him numerous times there. Wait, did I say elephant? Or it's a giraffe. <laughs> but he's really cool. He was only $1.99. And yeah, so it's crazy he was over there because this is from Target. Like, I don't know, someone must have just donated him real quick because normally I only see like the... Um, these new items from Target at the Orange County Goodwills and I was in LA during this trip and the LA Goodwills don't get like the new from Target stuff um, so yeah really excited about that now this one is probably my most favorite item that like the favorite like home goods item that I found and it is this really cool statue I don't know if you guys will think it's creepy but I think it's really cool I wonder if I can get it like on my face properly, but there it is. It's so cool. It reminds me, I forgot what the artist's name was, but I, the la like when I was in Paris a few years ago and we were walking around, oh my gosh, there's a bird right in front of my window. Um, <laughs> it's got like sidetracked so intensely, but the last time I was in Paris, well, the only time I was in Paris, uh, a few years ago, there was a cool like, um, art exhibition from someone that did like art like very similar to this like it looks like it's like almost floating I don't know but this is so cool I was really excited for it um they gave this to me for five dollars and 99 cents and I believe this was from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx I just know that their stickers look like that but it was ripped off um but it's really really cool I cannot wait to have I think this needs to go in the library I think this would be like the coolest piece for there or maybe like on my bookcase right there. I don't know where it's gonna go yet, but he's, I, he's gonna be in numerous places inside the house because he's so awesome. So next I have clothing items. One of them is actually a Bob Mackie sheer top, like a sheer t-shirt and it's like buttons down the back. And it's on the mannequin that I was like repairing in the kitchen. So he's not here, but if you wanna see it, check it out on my um, website. I'm gonna have it up for sale for anyone who's interested. Um, the next item I have, though, is this Millie blouse. It's a size 6. I believe that Bob Mackie was maybe, I don't remember what size it is. I think it was a small. But this one is really cool. It has, like, nice, like, billowy sleeves. And it's made of, I believe this is silk. And it's really pretty. It's just, like, a nice, like, a nice staple piece. And just, like, really fun and flowy. Really pretty. Up next, I have, this is a Free People, um, oh, where's the top? This is a Free People, like, I think it's like a dress. It's really fun and flowy. Um, it has really, like, they're not, like, super poofy, but I like the detail of, like, the stitching around there, and I like, like, the, the sleeves. I don't know, I just think this is, like, a fun, 
very free people. <laughs> but it's really cool. I think this is an extra large. Oh no, it's just a regular large. And uh, I just thought it was really pretty and fun. And it's pretty long. You can wear it as a dress or you can wear it with like leggings or without anything underneath. Whatever. Um, and then I found a pair of Isabel Morant pants. Now I feel like whenever I go to the Goodwill and like look through clothes, I never really find like really... Well, I have in the past. I feel like recently I haven't been looking as hard as I used to look through the clothes. But, um, I don't know. I was in L.A. I haven't been in L.A. in a long time. It made me feel nostalgic. Back when I used to go there, um, I used to, like, always love looking for clothes. I would always find the coolest stuff. And I found these Isabella Morat pants. And they're, like, um... It's like a... I want to say it's like a peacock green color. It's really nice. And then the... There's really cool detail on the bottoms. These aren't, like, pants that go all the way down, though. They're kind of, like... Um, almost like ankle pants. I I don't know. Are they called nickel block, nick, knicker blockers or pedal pushers or something. I don't know. But they're definitely like they they don't go all the way, like they're not all the way down to your ankle. Well, I guess unless like you're short. I feel like if I wore these, they'd probably be like pretty much almost that size. But I, they're definitely not gonna fit me. Um, I believe these are. How do you know what size these are? Oh, here we go. These are a size 36. 36? I don't know what size that is in women, like in, like, I don't know. If you're a woman, you probably know what size 36 is. But that's the size, 36. I don't know if it's like a European size or something. Or like, I don't think it's inches, because like, this is like pretty small for a size 36. But, um, yeah, really cool, right? So. Isabel Marat. This is my first Isabel Marat piece that I found. Hopefully it's not the last. So I'm really excited. Like, I feel like this um, shopping trip to LA, it's like rekindled my love for going thrifting there. Um, I kind of stopped because I, first of all, I hate the drive. <laughs> the traffic is a little intense. Um, but I did go on a Saturday and it honestly wasn't that bad. Um, so I think maybe now I'll go like once a week and like on weekends, like on a Saturday. So it's not like too crazy because it can get pretty crazy over there with traffic. Especially during the week, I think. Like during the week, there's just so many people. It's like really intense. Uh, okay, so now we're on to the bags. I got some pretty cool bags to share with you guys. Um, the first one I have. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is not an authentic piece. But it is all leather and in, in fairly good condition, so I feel like I had to get it. And it's this, um, it's like the Louis Vuitton, um, oh, I forgot what this is called. When it has, like, the perforated LVs on it. Can you even see? I don't know if, like, yeah, there you go. But it's, like, it's, like, the, I, I don't know if the style of the bag is the Mahina, but, um, yeah. It's, this is, like, a dark brown, like, an espresso brown it's almost black and it's just a, a nice handbag some of the edge coating has come off on the handle but that's not like the most like intense thing and it's a little dry on the corners so i'm going to condition those up hopefully that'll um fix it right up but other than that this bag is in great condition the interior is clean what's great about it is it has that buckle but it also has a zipper so i don't know it's in really nice condition actually and i haven't found like um like a what's it called serial number or anything on here so that's what makes me think it's not authentic but other than that like it's a really beautiful handbag and it's in great condition also i think the real one the perforations are bigger i think in the design anyway really cool bag regardless and up next i have this elliot luca like tote bag it's really cute i like the shape of it and it's in really 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 great condition and i love these tassels that are on the side they're really fun you know i'm like a sucker for a good tassel and then the interior is nice and clean and how much was this guy uh i can't find the tag i believe it was like i was under ten dollars so i think it was like 7.99 so like around oh no here it is I'm blind. No! This one was only $4.99. Yeah! This one was like the super cheap one. I don't know why it was so cheap. But, it was a great price and I'm really, really excited. And yeah, this is in like really good condition too. It just needs like a little like, um, 
edge coat repair right there on the handles, but other than that, it's in good condition. So I was really excited for this. Really, really cute. Then up next, I actually have this tote. Like, I found the tote very similar to this from Banana Republic, and it's orange. Um, but this is a orange Banana Republic tote. The leather is so soft, and I love how, like, it ha they have, like, this, um, like, I don't know what kind of, c like, cut that is. But this one was only $5.99. This brown color for this tote is so nice. And this is like a nice size tote, which is awesome. And yeah, so this is going to go up for sale, definitely. You guys know I love a good tote bag and I can't pass it up. Or no, you guys really like them too, so the other tag just like scratched my eyeball. <laughs> but there you go. Um, Bad Republic tote. It's actually in really good condition. No like major stainage or anything, so really excited to have found that. Then I have two last bags to show you, and I'm really, really excited because these are pretty good. Um, up first, I have this really gorgeous um, Kate Spade. Now, I believe this is called the oh, Miriam? No, I forgot what it's called. But it's the quilted bag. So cute. The hardware is, again, it's like that light gold hardware so it can like be silver or gold depending on what kind of um, jewelry you're wearing for the day and then it's in pretty good condition um, there is a little bit of dirt on there I'm hoping to be able to clean it out and then the sides need a little conditioning and other than that like the interior is so clean really really nice and this bag where's the price tag on here here you are this one was a little pricey at $20 but, I mean, really great condition, and it's such a nice bag, regardless, so. I, plus, I love their quilted bags, and this is definitely going to go up for sale in my shop, so don't forget to check it out if you guys are interested, and I'm just, I just can't wait to get this out there. You guys are going to love this bag. I already know you guys do, so. Then, I have one last item. This one, I think, is my favorite bag from the day that I found, and it is this beautiful beige Rebecca Minkoff. I love the silhouette and shape of this bag and the fact that it has a crossbody strap only makes me happier. Um, I also love this hardware. It's so modern. I love this silhouette and shape. It just needs a little cleaning to be honest and I think it'll be good to go. Um, the interior is super clean. It has like the divider just like the Kate Spade, the zipper pocket, and then it has that cool like peacock kind of green color um lining and then this bag was the most expensive one that i got from this store and it was 30 dollars oh but it was green that was the color of the day <gasps> was this bag only 15 dollars? i didn't even notice to be honest where's my receipt i have to look at it but <laughs> what a uh, fine it even still has a little um care card from becca minkoff on there so i believe this was 15 dollars I didn't even notice. No wonder it was so cheap when the guy rung me up, I think. I don't know. But, $30. Will you look at that? What a deal. Well, that rounds out today's haul. This one's my, like, definite favorite of the haul. Let me know, let me know though, down in the comments below what your favorite item was that I found today. And if you guys would like to have done so already, don't forget to subscribe so we'll be updated every time I post a new video. And I do post videos every single day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys immensely. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye! A, um, Halston heritage duffel. I actually found one of these. This one's a little um, more worn than the other one. The other one I had was in perfect condition. This one I think um, we can clean up and make look pretty good. Then I found two fossil bags. Um, a really cute. I don't think this one has a price. $14.99. And then this one I think is the same price too. So I don't know. They're a little pricey, but